from here in the east have been meeting. You know what that means. They say the enemy is weak on the left, and that the dwarves will tear through them there. Maybe then we can leave these filthy marshes and go home. Yesterday, the enemy made a call for parley. We saw the emissary's party ride out, a terrible black figure atop a black horse, and flanked by two huge men, similarly clad in black. They were not allowed to ride among our lines. Amid suspicion, they would scout our disposition and report back to their vile master. Instead, a small group of elves and men rode out to meet him. I could not hear what was said, but there will be no peace. Around the camp there are whispers. They say the emissary's mouth blackened and burned with Sauron's words, and that saying them caused the emissary great pain. He promised only slavery and toil, and I am compelled to believe it. I cannot help but think we will never make it into Mordor. Only death awaits us here. Deerhile said that he saw ghosts on the dead marshes. I thought he just saw his own fear. The speakless dead, the shadow men, the dead ones. Mordor calls to them all.